Okay, everybody, welcome back to Trigger Tarot. And so what we're going to do today is we are going to pull some cards and uh, see what happens. So basically on Trigger Tarot, you're going to learn about your future for the next month or a couple months after that, or maybe this will kick in like 10 years later and then you'll, you know, know your future then. But either way, we're going to start off tonight. And tonight we are talking about good old... Libra. So right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this so everybody kind of knows what's going on here. So Libra, boys and girls, you are this sign right here. And if you can't read that, let me outline this word here just so you know. Okay, so this is you, Libra, just so that you know. Just make sure you don't forget it. If you ever forget what you are, just come back here and look at the sign because it's very important. And... Uh, <clears throat> If you, do, if you still don't remember after that, you're kind of a dum-dum, but it's okay. You know, we love you, Libra. You're, you're very important people. You do a lot of great things. You really do. do a lot of great things. Help out, you know. Sometimes you vacuum. A lot of times you don't. But, you know, sometimes you, you know, help out with, with, with other things as well. And, uh, you know, you're, you're pretty good. You're very good people. And so you do, you know, that kind of, that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over and read your monthly reading for the month of May. If I can shuffle right, which for some reason I can't seem to shuffle all that well right now. I don't know why, but um, we'll do it one more time. Hopefully the candle doesn't fall over and burn everything down. I'm pretty sure it'll be stable. All right. Okay, Libra. So what we're going to do here today is that this card here in the middle is going to be over under. It's going to flip flop, you know, bipolar, negative, positive, negative, positive, like that. And what we're going to do up here is that there is the you card, your lover card, the other card and the other other card. So the lover card could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be somebody else, something else. I just call it the lover card. So just you're going to have to get used to that if you're not used to that already. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do some stuff here. So what we're gonna do Libra today is because, you know, it's getting a little bit later in this month. So this month could carry on into the next month to some degree. And so I'm doing the best I can to bring this out, but um, you know, trying to upload uh, 20 or 50 gigabyte things to YouTube does take a while. So I had to, I was gonna do all six in one, but then it was like 100 gigabytes and I was like, really <laughs> okay i guess i guess i have to upload it in smaller segments so i'm sorry everybody i know other people were here for more of a, a whole thing all at once and i apologize i wish i could do that but um sometimes youtube is like nope nope you can't do that and uh so i have to like you know get it to smaller things plus uh, i will also be putting some more of these things on some new platforms as well so if you're interested in seeing this on some other platforms also you will get to see this on newer platforms too. I will be expanding from YouTube um, and there's plenty of reasons why, I'm sure a lot of people know, but I will be expanding from YouTube onto some other platforms. But um, what we're gonna do Libra here is you are the scale of balance. You're going to balance yourself out. And um, I think it's important because I think I, I see a lot of Libras. They're really not very balanced. You know, I want to say that they're balanced, but they're kind of not. They're so full bore on one side. I think this is. I think that um, ultimately, that's really what the signs are all about. They're not about this is what you are and this is what you're good at. It's like this is what you need to wrangle in. You know, like I'm Scorpio, so my magnetic sexuality is so powerful that it can crumble buildings. You know, it's that powerful. So I have to wrangle that back sometimes. You know, so I don't destroy the world uh, with it. And so I think Libra also, like, sometimes you guys are just way overbalanced. You're pushing your boundaries too damn far. And you got to go, hey, man, I got to balance this side because this side's overbalanced. And so it's like that. That's how I kind of see it. I mean, you can let me know if you want to disagree with me. That's fine. But, you know, definitely let's go ahead and do this. So Libra, I'm going to let you guide my hand. So go ahead. Let me get prepared here. I'm just 
so that it's loose, loosey goose, and I can, you know, pick the right card. So I'm gonna guide. I'm gonna let you guide my my finger here. Not everything, just my finger. Okay, so just guide it. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll feel a surprise. Well, it's this card right here. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay, so it is the Four of Pentacles. This is your over-under card that you picked. And what does this have to do with anything? Well, this is very difficult to say what it's about. This could be totally positive. This could be totally negative. And uh, what it's basically saying right here, now I've said this multiple times, and this is kind of how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and lay out all the cards, and we'll talk about it. But this is the this is going to be the U card here. Of course, it's got to be a high arcana card. I seem to pick those like all the time for whatever reason. Maybe we'll pick some other little cards. Maybe we'll get a bunch of wands. How about we pick a bunch of wand cards here? How about we do, let's do, oh, it's got to give me that. Well, that's that's basically the, <laughs> the other card, but we kind of know what it is. I'm just like hoping for some wand cards here, but this is the other card. This is the, um, no, this is the lover card, this is the other card, this is the other other card. So that's what we have for you for tonight, Libra. Looks like it's um, a pretty good... It looks like it's really good, honestly. Um, let's go through this and let's try to figure this out because this is going to be a little bit confusing. So now, what does this describe? Now, I have said before, and I, I will say it again, this right here, let me just show you real quick here. This is Donatello's staff from the Ninja Turtles, right? Okay, so that's Donatello's staff right there. And what does that have to do with anything? You are basically sitting in the desert. There's a little lizard there. I think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, because of this staff right there. And um, Donatello is the smartest Ninja Turtle, right? Okay, so this little dude here, he's got pentacles. It's squeezing out, you know, his brain juice, all the purple is coming out. And, you know, when the, when the purple brain juice comes out, when it's squeezed, you know, in a theoretical level, not like physical, like you, some people are coming here, ew, that's disgusting. No, you're, you're, you're forget, you're missing the point. You're totally missing the point. This is a spiritual understanding of this. This is a spiritual understanding. You have to etherically tap your skull for purple crown juice. And this is what this means. This is like squeezing here. And when you pull it out, you got to get this ethereal tap, put it into your ear or your skull. You know, just imagine it. Don't physically do it. You'd be insane to actually do it. You're going to be, well, uh, hurting a lot if you actually do do that, which please don't do that. Just imagine this, right? So you've got this ethereal tap in your skull and you're, you know, pulling out all this purple juice. It's going all over the floor. Make sure you get a Ziploc bag or a little, you know, uh, glass tincture to collect it. And then you put it in a fridge and you save it for later. And so this is what's happening here. You are putting together all of the four things that are a part of you. Everybody's like, oh, everybody's five. Well, well, you only have four limbs, really. Your head is the... Uh, your head is the computer, your heart is the engine, all your limbs decide what that's, you know, how to function within the vehicle that you are. Uh, so essentially, you're taking what you've gained, your knowledge, and you're putting it forward into this staff. It's like, it's like the rod of power, right? You know, Donatello, you're taking your purple brain juice your purple chakra juice, and you're putting it into this king and into the staff. So you are actually moving up a level. You've leveled up in life, like how people level up in a game, right? You've leveled up in life. Now you're sitting on a seat here and you're awesome. And you're like, well, nothing else to do. I don't know what else to do. And, um, oh, you know what we forgot to do? Before we get into this any further, let me go and ring the luck bell because this could turn out really bad for you 
and you could be totally boned over for the next month. But I don't want that to happen to you, Libras. I want you and I wish you the best, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me pause the video here real quick. We'll get right back to it. And we'll ring the luck bell for you. Okay, so let's ring the luck bell here real fast. Um, sorry. Wasn't how I prepared it. All right. Now let's ring the luck bell. You know, we have to do it at the right time. So regardless, just forget you heard anything. We'll start over, okay? Because we have to ring it at the right precise time in order for this to work. And uh, it's literally the only way that you actually gain some kind of luck here. So this will also apply for Scorpios too, but I'm going to do this here at the beginning of this thing. So right about, right about now. Bring out you did. Okay, so you got your luck, Libra, and everything should probably work out right. So we also have to bring out some cards here. I don't know what happened to the community chess cards. I think I lost them or I have to go find them or they're all here. Ooh, they're all right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle this a bit. So Libra, let's talk about you a bit. Let's brag about Libra for a bit because I know how important Libras are and they like to be talked about to an nth degree. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, Libras, what's up, Libra? How are you doing today? You know, today is a new day. Well, it's a part of a song, but I still like to say that, you know, to every day is a new day. And uh, I don't think I can really do it like that. I got, I got to just shuffle them like this. So yeah, every day is a new day. You're going to find your luck here on Trigger Tarot. If you have not subscribed before, you can see some of strategy games I do. But I do like to do these tarot readings too because, you know, the fact is some people really don't know much about the uh, the whole tarot thing and all that. And, uh, you know, like I said in my previous tarot reading that um, I won. And so for this month and probably for the rest of this year, I'm probably going to be the best tarot reader ever out there, ever. And nobody else can compete, and I, I don't really care what their names are. I mean, you can put their names are out there, but I kind of won. There is only one other good tarot reader that I will list down below that I know of. Uh, there are a bunch of others as well, but the fact is for this month, at least for this month, the way it's looking is that I won. So the way the cards are playing out for me, they're always giving me like the best of everything because they're like, look, Trigger, you have to tell everybody how awesome they are because only you can do it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best for you and it should it re, you know reflect in the cards here. So based on what the cards show, you know, everything should be amazing. And Libra, you should balance out perfectly this month, I think. We'll find a way. So here's another thing too I want to talk to you about too as well is that I'm going to help you with these readings, right? So it's not just going to be about, um, you know, trying to understand how to work the, the future and all that. It's going to be hel helping you probably understand how to work the inner um, understandings of yourself, which is very important because there's times where we over extenuate ourselves. We, we push our boundaries. We don't know. The problem is, is most of us really don't know how far to go with a particular statement or a particular idea or a particular thing. And Libras like to jump into things, and they are go-getters. They do things. They don't just sit on their ass and just, you know, like a Scorpio would sometimes. Not all the time, but Scorpio, sometimes we just need to sit back and just go, yeah, I'm just going to watch whatever and just forget about everything because, you know, let them deal with it. But Libras are going to be out there. They're, they're go-getters. They do that kind of stuff. And that's, very, that's a very awesome thing. But we have to try to figure out Libra, because I do have Libra in my chart as well, like a natal chart and all that, um, is how far do we go, you know? Sometimes it's not always about, you know, uh, should we do this, should we do that? It's like, yeah, we know we should do it, but how far do you take it, you know? Do you, do you go far enough to make somebody else, your, your adversary, very angry? 
or do you go far enough or you, you help your adversary understand a little bit about yourself? You know, how, how do we weigh that, you know? So let's continue here. I just shuffled all this stuff. And so this seems to be something with yourself and others. So this, this, this wand here is kind of about yourself and this, you know, little brain juice guy is about... I mean, most of it's about yourself, but Libras do delve into a, a huge amount of, you know, people community projects. So I have to pull a community chest just because it is Libra, and I have to pull a chance because this is, this makes sense here. So let's do it serendipitously at the same time. All right. Um, whoa. How is this even possible? Do you see what this is? Okay, we're gonna look at this here. Um, I have to turn off some things here, but I will put it back on later on. But um, let's look at a couple things here. So what do we got here? We've got um, go to jail, go directly to jail. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, wow. And then what is this one here? <laughs> Get out of jail free? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's insane. This card may be kept until needed or traded. So what ended up happening here is that people that knew you were going to put you in jail, physically or mentally, and then you get out of jail right away. This is the craziest thing ever. I mean, literally, if you've ever gotten this in a Monopoly game, which is probably, probably never, um... Well, I mean, I've gotten this a number of times. I'm a pretty good Monopoly player, but, you know, I don't know you, really. You might have gotten it, too, but the thing is, usually you have to have this card first before you can, you know, well, you get this card and then you use this card later. So it's kind of, that's kind of how that plays out. But um, you got it at the same time, which basically tells me is that you had the option to get out of jail first before you, they were trying to throw you in jail. So here's the thing, you had your competitors, you had your competitors want to throw you in jail because you had all this brain juice, you've, you've got all this, you know, purple chakra juice. It's all purpley and chakra -y. it's like a soup. Your brain soup has like chakra and juicy. I'm thinking about steak, oh damn, I'm hungry now. What, Libras, why did you do that to me? Okay, anyways, um, you, you've got all this, like, crown juice, you know, in your head, in your skull. This is like you sitting here. This is you sitting here. This is like a magnification, right? Magnifying, right? Okay, so you're starting to understand now. These two guys are sitting down. They both have crowns. This is, this is, like, so important, if you've ever seen anything else in your life, watch this, and you'll understand that Trigger Tarot is going to just demolish everything else out there. Unless there's some other readers that, you know, want to watch this and like this. And uh, then I will also list you down below, too. But there, there are some really good readers that I do watch, and they do understand what I'm talking about, and they're not dum-dums. And so that's why I put them in the description, you know? So, here's the thing. Guy sitting on a chair with a crown, with pentacles, something on top of his head, idea, crown chakra juice. Guy's holding his wand, sitting on a chair with a crown. Little lizard on the bottom there. Um, some people downstairs are yelling. Don't mind that. Um, I think they're doing uh, other things. But... Um, yeah, so don't worry about that. But um, you know what? Here's a th This is amazing, you know? I've never seen this before, and it's only because it's been, like, my second month. But anyways, you know, people are trying to throw you in jail because of your crown chakra juice. You know, you have too much of it because it's amplified here. There's four. There's two lines in the background here. There's four here. It's boom. You are exploding with crown chakra juice. You got the staff and you're like, I'm gonna power up my staff with all this juice I've got. And everybody else is coming at you, you're like, no man, you're going to jail. You, you know too much. 
You know, you know too much. You're going to jail. Do not pass go. Do not click $200. F you. Go to jail because you have too much juice in your skull. And this little dumb dumb here, he's like, I don't have any juice. I got a star. They gave me a star at the precinct, but I don't have juice in my head. And you're like, well, I like to share it, buddy, but you're throwing me in jail. You're throwing me in jail, buddy. Brah. Brah. Get off of me. Stop holding me. Stop holding me down. And you're like, I'll tell you why you don't have crown chakra juice. And you're like, oh, yeah, well, we want to hear it. Kick you out of jail. Yeah. And so all these dum-dums in the world feel really smart about what they did, although they're just really dumb. Someone gave this guy a star. He didn't give himself a star. Someone gave him the star. You've got all the juice in your skull. They don't like it. They kick you out of jail because they have no reason to hold you in jail. Now, it's got nothing to do with any kind of sickness. This is all a mental game here. People are playing with you, trying to hold you down, trying to, you know, they're trying to jail you. They did literally right here. They tried to throw you in jail and you didn't accept it because you told them off and they still kicked you in the butt, which they're mean. They're very mean, but you're still on the top. You're still at the pinnacle. You're at the pinnacle point of your life here. Libras, you better take heed right now because if you're not... It's not a smart move. Let's look ahead here. Your other card. Let's see what your other card is. So let's do this. King of Pentacles. Check that out. Wow. King, King. Pentacles, Pentacles. Sitting on a throne, sitting on a throne, sitting on a throne. Boom. What does this mean? Because there's a kingdom here, and then there's some old structure here, and there's like a bowl, and then there's like a bunch of so a bunch of little grapes in there, if you can see that. Um, great. I mean grape. You can see that grape? Grapes are grape. So I like it. I like it too. I think it's awesome. You are wow. No one's ever been able to pull this kind of stuff. Only me. Only myself. Only veracity trigger. Only trigger, you can call me trigger or veracity or VT, you know, whatever you want to say. Just, just make sure you don't call me any names. I don't like names. Besides that, those, those names that I said, those are good names, but anything else, just keep that to yourself because, you know, some people, you know, here's the thing. I watch a lot of videos and other, a lot of people use my name in vain. They use trigger or triggered and they use the name in vain and man, that hurts. You know, my name is not a verb. I'm just saying, it's not a verb. So, I just wanted to flip that around because it just, got to make sure it looks nice. Um, but anyways, your significant other or other people are seeing you as the king of pentacles. Why are they seeing you as the king of testicles? I mean, pentacles. Um, it could be because the fact is you are just so awesome right now. You're just, you're killing it. I mean, you are absolutely killing it. I mean, literally, no one else ever pulls up this kind of stuff. Only I can do this. Because people ask me, they're like, are you psychic, bro? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, I'm not sure about that. I'm like, yeah, watch my multiplayer. Watch me manifest things all the time. You know, I can do this stuff like day in and day out. Sorry, I won't break about myself anymore. But, you know, I, I, here's the thing, Libras. This is what we have to do as well. Because I have some Libra in my chart as well. Actually, a lot. But um, what we have to do is we have to balance ourselves because sometimes like even myself, you hear myself break. I can break about myself for like all day. I could sit here for five more minutes. How about we do that for five more minutes? For five more minutes, I'm going to break about myself and you just sit here and listen. Well, maybe that would be redundant. Um, okay, we won't do that. Okay, Libras, we'll go ahead. We'll, th this is about you. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is about you. We'll talk about you and all the amazing things that have happened, which is a part of me as well. So, you know, I'm very happy for you because this also like looks like it's happened to me too. Like my intelligence, you know, my ethereal spiritual understanding is at the crown peak of everything. People are trying to get me down. And in your other, which this is dealing with a lot of people, right? So your other is your family, your friends, your lover, everybody. This is everything for you, Libra. This isn't just any single person. And this is freaking amazing to get these kind of cars in a row. What other reader can do this? 
I can't name anybody. Except for on, you know, some of the people listed down below. I, I will, you know, leave them down below. If they do want to leave some of their descriptions and all that, you know, I check them out, I see them. I will talk to them personally, and I will correlate whether I believe them as far as being super, super, like a Superman reader, like I am. But um, King of Pentacles, look at all this stuff. This is this is the over-under card. This is the U card. This is the other card. This is amazing. Look at this. I. It is a bit of a hard break. I don't. I wanted to make it a soft break, but dang, this is awesome. This is freaking awesome. So let's pull. Since this is like everything, let's pull everything here. So I'm gonna pull an Uno card and a Crazy Eights card. So Uno card, one. You're number one. Uranus. So it has something to do with Uranus. Um, there's a seven, there's a one. Uranus is basically a... You know what's actually interesting is... Um, oh, sorry, it's Uranus. Um, but uh, you know what the interesting thing about this is that Uranus is the planet or what would be considered, if you're looking at uh, Sumerian records if you can read Sumerian records which I'm beginning to start to read that uh which not everybody can but you know you start to read this and you start to understand this is this is um I don't think this is Kronos but um this is or Oranos like if you if you look at Atlantean on Atlantean understanding Oranos and um the lore on Oranos because Oranos and Oranos is the same kind of god from the past but he helped create the space the outer space he he goes out and creates like all different kinds of things and so anytime there's kind of like a chaotic change that's happening he's leading it he's leading it and so this is like chaotic change you're leading there is a seven which seven's a very significant number to a spiritual understanding there are it's like a club symbol there, which is interesting. Um, but you're leading, and you're number one, and there's one King of Pentacles. If I can't get any more accurate than this, then, you know, there might not be a better reading in the entire planet other than this. This is like one of the absolute bests ever, you know, and I shuffled everything. So you can trust me on that. I shuffled every single card before I got here. And for a Scorpio, we're just going to play out whatever the next card is. That's what the next card is. I don't even know what it is. But this is awesome. You're leading the change. People are attacking you because of your internal knowledge. And you are succeeding. And your friends and family are pushing you up. And they're celebrating you. Awesome. All right, so let's go to the next card here. This is your journey card. So if I say the other card... And then the other other card, this is the outcome. This is the journey card, which means you have to take a risk. So let's pull this over here. Ooh. So typically I, I might turn that around, but the fact is this is a this is a crying person in bed. And uh, they're going, boo I'm so sad. There's just a bunch of swords in my dreams and they're going to attack me. Well, can you please take away the swords? I don't like them. And, uh, you know, you're, you know, basically you're kind of crying here. This is where it's like the full representation of this. And this means nine. So it's nine swords, but it's in reverse. So it's actually not so bad. So this is in your head. This is in your head. Everything that you've learned and came to understand and fought against other people about, they tried to throw you in jail. Like, they tried to do the ultimate thing to you. But they couldn't do it because you had to get a jail free card. Which means that, well, you know, they were damned for all along. They couldn't do anything about it. Your friends helped you out. You've created this progress, this change. But you still have it in the back of your mind with your journey. Like, oh no, everybody's going to be after me. But the fact is, like, look at this. You've got everybody on your side. Everybody on your side. This was the nine. You know, this this was the nine. But now, because it's upside down, it looks like the 11, right? So it looks like what could have been bad, it looks like it's even worse than it could be beforehand. But it's really not. So you're freaking out over nothing, really. 
like everything's going to go great. Let's see what the risk card has to say. Okay, so Mongolia here. So if you have not been to Mongolia before, you might want to visit there now. You know, I guess it depends on the crisis and, you know, what's going on with that, you know, whether they'll let you in or not. But um, you've got this Mongolia here. So if you own Mongolia on a risk board, you can place an extra reinforcement troop there on your, re on your um, beginning turn, on your reinforcement. So you can reinforce an extra guy there. There is one extra little dude there who's shooting his gun. And so what does this basically mean is that you think it's your problems they're amplified and they're coming from Mongolia. So you'd think it has something to do with Mongolia. It's coming from this location. So wherever you are on a map, point to that, point to Mongolia on the map. And that direction is where I think your problems are coming from. But they won't be fed into. It will be resolved and you will be able to be successful. But your problems are stemming from Mongolia. Your dreams, your bad dreams, which aren't as bad as you think they are, are actually coming from over there. And so that's what it's telling me right there. Libra, this has been absolutely amazing. Like, you have crushed it. You have crushed it. Literally crushed it. Okay, let's... There's really nothing else to look at here. You know, as far as like what we could look at, um, I get this feeling I should roll a die. And because there's um, either nine or 11 or seven and one, it's a lot of odd cards. You know, there's, there's one, there's one. The only one is four is here, but this four kind of had to be there in that way. There's a lot of odd numbers here. So let's bring out a odd dice here. I don't need to blow luck on here with the luck dragon because you already kind of have it, right? I think you do. Uh, let's bring out an 11. I don't think that's an 11 one. Oh, here's an 11. All right, this... Oh, that one has 12 on there. I want to find a die that has 11. Oh, not that one. If I find it, it'd be awesome. Well, that's 19. Whoa. I don't think I have a die that's 11. Well, I have to throw an odd number die. Okay, this is a nine-sided die. We'll throw this one here. We'll see what happens. Five. What does this mean? This means that uh, the chaotic energy that you're putting into this, that is change. You are creating the change, Libra. And this matches up with this five. So this like amplifies, this strengthens this card, which also means one. You are the one. Everybody sees you as the one. And you are uh, amplifying this, this pentacle here. You are amplifying your own magic. That's amazing. That's freaking amazing. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. And we'll finish off your finale here. So this is the... Empress in reverse. See, I told you what happens on Trigger Tarot. You get all the Arcana cards with me because I say so. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Empress is there. So what does this mean? You know, I could turn this around, but the fact is I think this was meant to be placed this way. So you think you're going to, you know, there's some bad things along your way, and it looks like there's something along this way that might hold you back. Your your end card might hold you back. Let's pull a risk card here, a secret mission card. So let's see what let's see what the secret mission is. So you can kind of know what is the secret mission today. So secret mission: conquer the continents of Asia and Africa. So that's actually kind of important. So there's something going on with Asia and Africa, but Mongolia is a part of Asia, right? So, so the point is, there are some secret people in Asia that might be hindering you, and you're wondering about this. There's, a, there's kind of a powerful force here. You are the force of change, but you have something holding you back, and it's the Empress, and it's in Asia or Africa, but I think it's Asia because this Mongolia does kind of confirm that. So, 
If you're playing Risk and you have to conquer something, don't worry about Africa. Go after Asia. Conquer that. Take it out and get more troops because you get like seven extra troops when you take out Asia. So I think it has something to do with that. And uh, the Empress is reversed. So your, your journey is your adversary. Now I know you're, you're like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to have that. I'm sorry, but you are the, the wind of change. You've had people try to throw you in jail. You've had people try to throw you in jail. And you've got to get out jail free card. And you got away with it. Because you're so smart, you know. Your crown chakra juice is just spilling out all over the place. And you have Uranus's power exemplified. You are the one. You are Neo. And you're having these bad dreams of which they're not that bad. But your adversary is over here. Right? But what does this mean is that it's not that bad. But it's definitely something to do pointing towards Asia. If you live in Asia, maybe there's you know, an empress that's sitting upside down. That if you can tell her, all you got to do really, I think ultimately, is just tell her, Hey babe, you need to sit right side up. And all your problems go away. And that's pretty much it for this reading, you know? All you got to do is turn that frown upside down. And you're going to be successful with this spiritual understanding. So most of this is a spiritual understanding, right? It's not a full physical thing. Are you going to get money out of it? Are you going to get this out of this? It's, a, it's hard to pin houses and places with this because it's like an inner spiritual thing, you know? And I think that's important that you came to understand it. So I'm going to pause it. I know a friend who is a Libra and he has written a book and I've started to read some of that. I will show you the book. If you want to go ahead and check it out, you can. And, uh, you know, after that, I won't do a whole bunch of advertising, but, you know, that's something I just figured I'd do for a friend. So, okay. So I bought this book. You can buy this on uh, Amazon and uh, it is a book a friend has written. And so, yeah, if you want to go ahead and check it out, it is a, you know, it's a, it's a very interesting book. It's a very interesting read. But go ahead and check it out on Amazon if you want to read that. I, I read a bunch of different books, and I read pretty slow, so it takes me some time to get through them. But I do like the ones I typically buy because I just have this feeling, you know, just like these readings here, just like all this stuff here. I'm just like, I got a feeling we're going to pull up some good stuff. And we did. Seems to be like that. You know, when I was younger, I was I was kind of a big Pearl Jam fan, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, they're going to get pretty successful one day. And other people are like, well, I like Nirvana. I'm like, yeah, Nirvana will be good too, but so Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam will probably move on ahead, and they did. I predicted that. Uh, we could go into more things I predicted, but it's going to get... You, you might lose some of your nerves because you'd be like, wow, man, he predicted so many things. But I don't want to brag about myself. I want to. I want this to be about you, Libra, because you're very important. Very important to the societal structure of things. You might think you're not, but you are. 110%. That's how much you give. And not everybody notices it all the time, but I do. I, I notice it. I get it. I see it. I see it and I say it. That's what I'm going to say. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reshuffle this for Scorpio. So Scorpio, you are on the chopping block. And I don't mean that in a bad way. You're up next. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. Scorpio is my basic thing. That apparently they say I am, which I guess I am. Which makes sense, you know. So, yeah, that's that's me. But um, let's go ahead here and let's reshuffle all these. So everybody's like, oh, you're just, you know, pulling whatever card you want. No, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't do that. I don't do parlor tricks. I speak the truth. I say what I say. I say what I know. I'll tell you what I know. Sometimes people think, oh, I don't trust that. Well, then you fall into your own trap. Because I, I told you so. <laughs> you didn't listen to me. Godspeed. <laughs> so you're not get you're not getting help from me. Because 
I decided to help you, and if you didn't want it, well, it's your own damn fault. So, what we're going to do here is go to Scorpio. I'm having a hard time shuffling tonight. I don't know why. Because I'm worried about this candle. <laughs> it falls over. I don't want it to. I don't think it will. All right, we'll do two more times just to be over accurate. And then after this, we are going to talk about Sagittarius and Capricorns. Let's talk about them. So yes, we've got uh, a lot to do today. So, all right, here's the thing, everybody. Here is the tricky thing, Scorpio. So Scorpios, you are right here. You are the scorpion. Which a lot of people are afraid of, but honestly, Scorpios are some of the best people you'll ever know in your life. Because they don't like to bullshit all the time. They kind of like to tell you what's going on. Whereas every other sign is a little heavier into the BS. But uh, Scorpios will tell you like it is. They'll cut the crap and just tell you right off the bat. Alright, so I've got these kind of... Nice like that. So Scorpio, since I'm mostly Scorpio, I guess I'll go ahead and pick for you. Hope you don't mind. I mean, you can lead my hand in a way, but, you know, just make sure you lead it the correct way so we get the right thing. Because if you screw it up, you're going to mess up my sign, too. You're going to mess up my destiny for this month, which is going to, it might piss me off. So I don't want you to do that. So please make sure we get this the right way. I'm going to close my eyes. And we're going to feel the cards. Hopefully we won't get a paper cut. And we'll, uh try to figure something out here it'll probably be a very good card i'm gonna go ahead and uh uh no we got to keep going down here i was gonna pull back for a second but right here death perfect yes oh finally scorpio see everybody's like this is a scorpio card told you you use my energy and you pull me to the right one. I told you, I was saying, I swear to God, if you pull the wrong one, I'm going to get you. Because this affects me too. But you pulled death. So this is the over-under card here, right? And so this could be positive, negative. This could go up and down, blah, 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 back and forth and all that. We'll put the other cards here. This is the U card there, which I actually was going to pull this up this way because I was going to flip it over. Now we've got this card here, we've got this card here, and we got this card here. So I'm going to put these away here. And uh, yeah, so you know what's awesome? This is absolutely awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. You know, you're like... Ich liebe. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're kind of like that. So here's the thing. If we had Death in Reverse, which I've said before, if you can't see the dragon in the water could be blind or I could just not be holding this correct but you see the little dragon in this water here the red eye and the mouth and all that yeah there's a dragon in the water it's way it's ready to eat and attack the horsey man right this is the death card and so for Scorpio it's actually a pretty decent thing it's a pretty decent deal honestly I think it's pretty good because this is a transition. So we are going through like this super powerful transition this month, it seems. You know, I mean, if you saw the full moon, I guess this full moon was in Scorpio that I've been uh, listening to some other very good readers out there tell me this. And so the full moon's been in Scorpio this month. I really wish I could get all these readings done like super early, but they do take some time. And then YouTube is like, oh, I'm going to make you wait like a whole day to upload this thing. I'm like, okay. So I, I'm sorry. I wish I could get this all out faster, but you know, it's, it's all YouTube's fault. You know, I would blame myself and typically there are times that it is, has been myself. And I will say I take the blame for that, but it is literally YouTube's fault. So I'm going to go ahead and blame YouTube for that. Um, but this had to be up with it. This had to be upright this way, you know, and you're probably like, why? Because in my mind, 
with the flag up like this, and it's showcasing this cycle here of 13 and 10, this had to be at the top, and this had to be at the top. Now, why is that the case? It just came to me, and it's like, this has to be like this. You know, Lady Luck comes by to tell me what to do a lot of the times, and sometimes she is kind of effing bossy, but, you know, most of the time, she's really trying to help me out, you know? So what we're going to do here to try to get an understanding, because this is death, this is victory, and all that sort of thing. So you're victorious in death. So maybe you resurrected, and maybe, uh, you know, you became immortal. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to flip this coin here, which is an angel coin. And so there's a big angel on the coin here. If the camera would focus, you'd get to see it. But there's a big angel right there with wings. And uh, it's a pretty cool coin. Usually get it in the mail like every two or three months. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. And we'll see what happens and where it lands and all that stuff. So I'm going to put it down here. What does it say? It is on the angel side. So that's awesome. So everything is going great right there. Your transition through this phase is is like it's not scary but it's a lot to deal with but you've gained victory so you went from 13 which people think is unlucky i don't think it's unlucky at all actually friday the 13th days are some of my luckiest days ever so going from 13 to 10 you're dropping three um as far as what this goes I would probably pull like a community chest if this had to do with other people, of which it probably does have to do something with other people. But I think ultimately, um, ultimately this has to do with uh, yourself. So we're going to pull a chance card here. Ah, look at this. Advance to the nearest railroad. If unowned, you may buy it from the bank. If owned, pay owner twice the rent to which they are otherwise entitled. So what this has to do is that there's a major victory. Now, I would say that you are going to a railroad and you're going to be paying money. But what this says is that with this victory here and this transition, you're doing a project that is probably old, you know, like the railroad. Your project, your victory comes from some old idea of which somebody else may have had it, but you probably inherited a railroad. And much like people like adopt highways, you know, instead of adopting other real children, they adopt a highway. You know, you probably adopted a railroad, you know. And so actually, instead of actually taking care of another living person and being, you know, a humanitarian, you decided to adopt a railroad. Now, why would you do that? You know, I don't know, Scorpio. Um, sometimes Scorpios just do some of the craziest things ever. And sometimes that turns out to be fantastic. But sometimes it just turns out to be a, just a freaking crazy idea. And later on we go, why the hell did we even do that? Well, it was kind of fun at the time, you know, so... Sometimes just logic aside, we just, you know, go ahead with some idea that we don't fully understand, but we try to understand. You know, here's the thing. I can eat, we need to give the, the little luck dragon here. He needs to blow some fire on us. Give us some luck. All right. So we gave ourselves some luck there with the luck dragon. You know, I'm on your side too. So don't count me out either. So I'm part of this as well. So what we got to do is we have to think here for like five minutes. So we're going to pause the meditation for like five minutes. And we'll come back here and I will uh, fast forward the video so you don't have to meditate. Okay, so I did all the meditation for you. You don't have to do anything. You could just sit on your ass and just watch me do this. And so what ended up happening during the meditation was that I had an idea right? You're charging forward, you know, some of these people are dying, 
you know, you got the Pope here, you know, ho you know, hoping that he, you know, death isn't going to take him, but he doesn't really care about anybody else. He's just looking at death. He's like, please take these other idiots. Don't take me. And then uh, the king died and the page was dying. And then this other girl passed away too. But this king, there's like a son behind here. It's like the Pope's not going to die. You know, this idea is going to continue on. And there's this, there's the fruition here, you know? So what ended up happening is that, you know, your idea with this project of, you know, adopting a railroad and actually maintaining it, you know, you, you decided to pick up a transport type of job. So you picked up a transport job. Either it has something to do with the railroad or, you know, some kind of like parts distributor or something like that, but you are traveling. Your transition from your past job to this job, you became an auto parts, a uh, auto parts traveling person, right? So now you're driving from place to place. You're distributing things. You've gained victory. You know, other people have, have met with failure and you're moving on with uh, your transportation thing because you are successful. This show is success right there. So let's let's pick up some other cards here. Let's see what your, your significant other has to say about this because they could be royally pissed or they could really love you to the nth degree. We'll never know until we flip it. Oh my God, look at that. Now, if you have ever seen any other kind of tarot reader ever pick up like major arcana cards, left and right, left and right, back and forth, without cheating, well... You'd be very, very lucky. But I can do this on command because this is me right here. This is me. So if you want to know what this card means, just scratch out the magician and write the trigger right there because I am the trigger. And so your significant other is helping you manifest all this stuff into reality because it's me right there. It's me. I'm working with you right here. You've got everything on your table, and I'm holding up this stick going, yeah, look at me with my stick or my candle. I'm immortal. I am immortal. I have inside me blood of kings. Hey. So, yes, that's me, and this is you moving forward here with your transportation thing. You've decided that you were going to go forward in life. And you needed some help here from a significant other. This could be your significant other, too. I'm just saying this could also be me because I am wishing you luck with the luck dragon. If you didn't see that, rewind the video like three or four times until you get that and see that. But um, you are getting luck from another fellow Scorpio or another fellow magician-like manifesto. I mean, not manifesto, a man of... Mana fishing, mana, 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 from, no, mana, mana castle, mana rune power, mana, something with mana. There's something with mana in here. And, uh, no, 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 that's, no, no, there's not something with mana. It's just another person that is also a manifester, right? Because there's a bunch of little flowers down here and, you know, and it's, he's got his little, sword there you know people are like whoa he's got to have a sword there because he's got all the elements there but here's the thing he has to have all these things because if someone came to attack me as a sword to defend himself if someone came to declare diplomacy on him he'd have a staff to show that he has a stick you know to beat them with if uh somebody wanted to celebrate with him he has a cup to share you know to cheer in the sky for and if somebody wanted to say hey man you don't know about anything about magic he's like yeah check out this penalty here bro and uh so that's why the magician has all of the things it's because your significant other or myself is helping you within this avenue within this within this venue right we are moving forward together so let's move forward together as far as like what this is this could be your significant other because we're using the crazy eights deck, which basically means that your your significant other is crazy. You know, they're they're crazy or they're full of eights. Although they're probably just crazy. 
you know, crazy other. Your other is crazy. So we'll pull one of these cards here. Uno card could mean you're alone and you're single and you're lonely and you wish somebody would approach you um, and uh, talk to you because, you know, you're like, well, I usually do all the approaching, but then nobody approaches me because, you know, I'm always the go-getter and I'm always the Uno person, but then they don't approach me. Why don't they approach me? Why don't they say something, you know, instead of, you know, just tell them to get off their high horse and, and, and talk to you for a second or just like, you know, you're walking by, just like smile and laugh when they walk by in the hallway. And then they'll be like, why do they laugh? And then they'll ask you a question. You know, maybe you just have to do something crazy in order to be with a crazy person. That could happen. But hopefully they're not crazy. Anyways, let's pull one of the cards here. Let's pull them both because this is like really interesting torpedo. Ooh, plus four. Plus four with two Venus. So your significant other could be myself. As a Venus, the show's love. You know, Venus is the sign of love. So Venus is the, uh, the female one with love and two. Shows two. And there's plus four. So you have options. You got options. So it says plus four. So what do you got to do with plus four? Typically, we've got to pull more cards, right? And so we're going to pull more cards here. Because it's telling me to. So it could be anything. This is the crazy part. That doesn't happen with other readers and other readings. But I'm going to do it here because... Uno, like, this is like you have either options or you have to figure out what your options mean. So we got to pull four cards. So we're going to go ahead and uh, manifest four cards here. We're going to go ahead and pull this card there. And we're going to see what happens. Put this card there. We're going to pull... This card here, I'm going to pull this one here, and pull this card here. So we're going to see what we manifested from there, and uh, we'll try to understand it. So Scorpio, this could be a bit of a longer read because of the plus four. And I'm sorry, but it has to happen. So let's see what we have here. So we've got, uh, whoa, look at this. So because all of these are in reverse, they all have to be flipped over because these are all positives, right? Plus four is positive. So they have to be uh, flipped over. So that has to be like that too. So these are all positive plus things because Venus, two, love. That's awesome. So we've got... Uh, we have the Ten of Sticks. We have the Hanged Man, who is looking like Jesus, upside down. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, and we got the Hierophant. So the 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 Harry Pants here, you know, he doesn't understand fashion, right? He's got a couple keys here, a couple bald guys sitting next to him, just staring at him while he's going, Peace be with you! And they're like, what the hell are you doing up there? And uh, he doesn't know. He wears hairy pants. But, um, yeah. Uh, but you got the fortune here. Look at that. Look at that. So you got the Wheel of Fortune there, Hang Ban, and number 10, right like that. Number 10 goes here because your work is here. So what does this mean? Your, your significant other is going to have either these qualities or you're going to have four choices between these types of people. So if you are a guy, I'm just going to amplify, uh, if you're a guy, you're going to find a, a woman that will have as much luck as I do, maybe more, but I don't know because the devil's rubbing his butt right on the, the wheel and it's making it kind of greasy or kind of, well, I'm sure you can imagine, um, but it, that's not very good. So you're going to find a very lucky woman or else the woman's going to have luck with her. You're going to find a woman that has been through a lot of trauma, but has overcome it because now they've got this aura around them. You're going to find a woman that has done a lot of physical labor and work and uh, 
they have all the wands, you know, they've got the 10 wands, so they're, they're very successful because of all of what they've put into things, right? Or you're going to find a priestess who is like the Pope in a way. So it could literally be with plus four that your significant other is, has these qualities, or you're going to find four different women that might espouse one of these particular qualities. So that's what that means for that. It's the only thing it can mean, because uno typically signifies singleness and is focusing on yourself, but this says plus four. So this incorporates these other things as well. So if you want to go ahead and uh, just think about that, you know, this is a general read, so it could literally mean anything for anybody, but what it probably will mean is that one of these things will count. And if they all count, you're super lucky. But one of these things will count. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. I'll try to fit this on here like this if I can. Um, you know what? Actually, let's put this here because you're the last reading anyway. So let's put this here like this. So this could mean any of these things here, but it is a positive number. That's why I had to flip them up. It's a positive number, plus four with the two. If this was anything else, I would have to say, well, maybe some are mixed. Maybe this should be upside down. But you're going to be with somebody that's just extremely lucky, that has suffered, that is building their own career from the ground up all themselves. And they're very powerful, but they're pushing forward and they don't need you to do it. They can do it themselves. Or you're going to be dealing with somebody that's a pope that's looking to, you know, everybody to stare at them because they have hairy pants. Now, they could make their own kind of pants out of hair, which is kind of disgusting. But maybe you're into that sort of thing. I don't know. So let me pause real quick and uh, we'll get into what your journey card is. Okay. And we'll talk about that. Okay. So if... If you think, Scorpio, that this is pretty good, I'd also have to agree. I would also have to agree because the thing is, if you, you know, want to manifest something in your life amazing, you're going to need my help. You need to shake my hand. Here, take my hand and shake my hand like like that. And, um, you know, just, just make sure you're holding it tight because if you don't hold it tight, you know, you're going to lose your grip and you're going to fall down and it'll hurt but you need to hold my hand as tight as possible because I am also a fellow Scorpio and I will help you out with a lot of things, believe it or not. Some people can't do this, but I sure as hell can do it because I know what the hell I'm doing. Now, let's look at some other things here. And, um, you know, before we go into this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself because I really don't do this much. And you're like, how do you know, you know, how do you know like you're, how do I know you? I don't know you. Let me explain a little bit about myself to you before we continue on here, okay? Just a little bit. I know who I am. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. So I hope that helps you understand me to some degree. And we can move on from here. But the fact is, if you do want to fight me on something, I don't mind. I'd like to have your opinion. But if you have some disagreements about some things, dance off, bro. Me and you. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have a dance off. And whoever is the victor will be right. But I'm sure it's going to be me. Okay? So, you know, if you win, that's awesome. I will say you've won. I will praise you. But if I win, it's going to be a lot of breaking that's going to go on for 10 more minutes. I'm just saying. But uh, anyway, Scorpio, you know, I wish you the best because, you know, we're kind of the same. We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat and we're trying to work through life and, you know, succeed in all the best ways that we can succeed in. So you have a lot of things that are amazing with your life right now. I mean, seriously, the death card is the Scorpio card. And for other people, it's death. But for us, it's like, oh, hey, hey, Mr. Death, <laughs> high five. You know, he's like, oh, sure. <laughs> You know, and then, you know, that happens like that. But um, you've been successful, like amazingly successful. Something with transportation is getting you forward and your significant other, which could be me, but your other person that's rooting for you, which also could be me, or 
an actual significant other is uh you you got you know it's going to have one of these qualities here but you're finding love you will find love now will it happen this next month or whatever it comes down to you you have to manifest this into your life really because you got all these cups and you know you're like oh this is victory but guess what everybody's happy they're dancing but all these cups are in the air they're on a rainbow and you know what you can never do you can never touch the rainbow it's just an imaginary thing that's out there and uh you can only see it but the only way you can see it is with water and mist in which case what is venus here what does that kind of represent in a way it's water right and uh, the dragon that's hidden underneath the death and water and you flip it upside down there's a dragon there so you have to push forward with a watery element to make this happen but your significant other is going to have one of these types of qualities once you see this you might be like oh i think i found the person here either she's a priestess a hard worker somebody that's been through a lot and they're still sanctified you know because they know they're just and right or somebody that has the wheel of fortune of which sometimes the devil rubs his butt on you know you know it, it's it, they're going to be very lucky or this or or that or that and you got me in your corner i'm right here this is me so if anybody ever wants to know what this is just cross out the magician right right trigger right there right trigger with a black magic marker or just like do a white out and a right trigger there the trigger the veracity trigger right here this is me i am this card i'm number one that's my card you know you might be like no that comes from the magician well outside of this reality outside of time i have died when i was younger and i've seen things that you have not seen some people have seen them but this is me right there right there I'm here, I'm here to help you out. I'm here to help you out. And if you want to know more, just ask me. I will help you because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. So we're going to move on to this card here. And uh, this is your journey card here, Scorpio. This could be me. This could be someone else here. So, oh, man. Oh, I knew. I knew he'd come back again. Oh, my God. He comes up in almost every single reading. Almost every single reading. I mean, not the last reading, but, you know, dang near every reading that we've had so far. So, oh, you are a tricky little devil. I'm starting to think he's a devil. I think this guy's a devil. It's six, you know, six. You're like, oh, the pentacles are five. But six is the devil's number. The star with the sixes is really actually Satan. Sorry to say it. I'm sorry to show you. Sorry to tell you, but it's kind of the truth of things. Um, and, uh... So. It is in these hills that Juan Valdez and his trusty goat gather coffee beans every morning. <laughs> yeah. So, what did that have to do with anything? I mean, it might have, but... Here's the point. These two guys, these two little idiots here are waiting for this robber baron to feed them, right? He's got the scales of balance, which means that he's just. But the fact is, it's a fabrication. He's holding this to lie to you, right? So your journey card is to find, and you know what? I've been waiting for this for a long freaking time. I've been waiting for such a long time. You are figuring things out. The devil is waiting to trick you. You know, and the devil's there wearing Prada, I mean red, and uh, he's holding the balance scale going, yeah, I'm balanced, but I'm just going to give to this guy in green over here, and I'm not going to give to this guy in blue because of him. And, uh, you know, here's the here's this little here's this little beggar guy. He's going, you know, he's, oh, please, Mr. Robert Birdman, please give me some peas. I'm poor. And I have no peas. I don't know how to. I don't know how to to get food. I've I've got this little. I've got a headache, and I I put on my little bandage and stuff, and you know, and and, and some ice, and and I I can't figure anything out. My head is swirling. And Robert Baron is like, 
Don't worry, man in green. I'll help you out. This other guy in blue is like, well... The hell's wrong with you? Give me some peace, too. Robert Baron is like, no. I don't like people that are blue. I only give to people that are green. Because money is green. And you have no money. And so... What is this all about? You know, you're probably like, that doesn't make any sense. And to some degree, I could probably agree with you. But the point is, without going into too much detail, the robber baron appears in my readings because this is the devil. And he tries to get into these readings and he tries to muck things up. He does the best he can because he always brings his little balance scale like I'm balanced. It's a lie. It's a joke. He's not fair. Because he's showing right here. Now, when I read when I read about Jesus, you know, what he one thing he said was you will understand them by their actions. People can say all kinds of stuff or give an appearance of something, but their actions speak louder than words. So what is he doing? He's giving a piece to one beggar. And the other one gets nothing. The other one gets jack. Or as uh, as the uh, the famous movie goes with uh, the the Evil Dead, you know, he ain't found two things: jack and shit, and jack left town. And that's what's gonna happen. Your journey is gonna be filled with these little devil guys, these little robber baron guys that are acting like they're all balanced and crap you know and as a scorpio i totally understand you're going to be seeing all these robber barons are going to be coming into your life going i'm balanced i'm balanced i'm no you're not because i can see what you're doing with your actions and it's not balanced because this guy didn't get jack and this guy did right so i feel the frustration i really do because i see that i see that in the, the world too and i know you do and it's six. And what is Robert Barron affiliated with? The devil. That's all I'm going to say with that. Let's pull out this card here. So this is Middle East. So this has something to do with Middle East. I don't know what this has to do. Maybe you're getting, you know, you're traveling. You're moving around. Your, your partner is appreciative of you, right? And you're finding a partner, like you've been very successful through this metamorphosis of this change, but you're realizing that there is some problems in the Middle East. Now, it could be due to the oil that's not getting pumped or something like that because it's about transportation, Middle East, transportation, the oil that's not like working here. And you're realizing there's some devils out there that are trying to hinder your way. And you thought these de you thought these good robber barons were good because they had the balance scale, but you're realizing their actions are speaking louder than words. You know, what's this blue guy getting? He ain't getting jack. This guy, he's getting all the peas. You know, he's not holding the balance scales on his nose and handing out both peas to both beggars. No, he's not doing anything like that. You know, so... That's kind of what happens with this. It has something to do with oil, possibly oil. You know, you're, you're, you're finding out that your success is a little bit hindered by these robber barons with this oil from the Middle East. So this very well could be a part of that. But your partner, whatever they are, their total approval of you because they're helping you manifest your victory, right? So... We're going through a struggle, but we will be victorious. Check this out. So this has to be like this, this Ace of Wands. So what is this? Everybody asks this, and they don't even know what the hell is going on. They're like, oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wand. And I came out of the sky, and I'm, I came out of nowhere. And I'm holding a rod. Woo! You know, and you're like, how does that help me? I don't get it, you know, but the fact is, you are successful. This rod came out of nowhere. You had this idea of this total victory you're going to share with everybody else, but this is a personal victory. This is a personal victory. So your significant other is like me. They are the trigger. I think from now on, I'm just going to mark that out. I'm going to call it the trigger. I'm going to white that out. That'll be me because that's my card. 
And uh, I know the first tarot reading I pulled up, the first card I ever pulled up was the Fool, but that's not me. I am the Magician right there. So what do we have to look forward to is the Ace of Wands. You get a stick that flies out of nowhere, bops him on the head, and this guy's like, I'm really balanced. You're like, no, you're not. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. Oh, ow. Boom, 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 boom. I'm sorry, Mr. Robert Barron, but you suck. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, you put him down in his place. Damn. You just, you squish him with your rod. You're like, I'm a Scorpio. Boom, 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 boom. And then everybody's praising you, right? Because everybody's like, all these other people. Now, that's just, this, this might not be a bunch of different lovers or whatever. This could be a bunch of different varied people that have different lives, too, that are watching you pound this guy with your stick. Because you got a big stick that came out of nowhere. You know, and the fact is, you know, he with the big stick hits the robber baron in the head like a billion times till he learns his lesson that he's not balanced because, you know, he's effing around he's saying he's balanced but you're you're bopping him on the head going nope i'm sorry bro i'm sorry you're not balanced you're not balanced and uh it has something to do with transportation in the middle east and something like that but um let's look at the uh secret mission card here and let's see what have you have to do destroy all indigo troops look at that look at that destroy all indigo troops so what does indigo have to do with anything really well, basically means is the only way you're going to be successful with bopping this robber baron on the head with your stick is to get rid of feeling blue. So if you keep feeling blue about this, you're not going to be able to hit him on the head with your stick in a proverbial sense. I don't mean you should go out and physically, you know, do it, but using your words, you know, people will say, use your words, which makes it a ton of sense so i have to you know i have to roll a die here because i think it's very important i'm gonna roll a die we're gonna see what happens here and i'll figure it out six boom right there what is the target here it's this guy you're not going to be successful you're not going to have your big stick until you bob him over the head because this is the important thing right here you have friends and allies on your side to bop him on the head in a proverbial way, you know, to let him know that he's an idiot and he's not fair and he's a liar and he's stupid. Because who wears green boots with with a red outfit, anyways? I mean, you don't you don't see me wearing that, do you? No, I know how to dress in fashion. But this guy, yeah, you can kind of tell sometimes with fashion sense, you know, whether they're stupid or not. And uh, you know, obviously, nobody does this, you know, unless you're like an elf from Santa Claus land or North Pole or something like nobody wears that anyways nobody nobody does it's not even it it makes no sense but regardless of whether it's a fashion thing or not it's really just comes down to the fact that you're bopping him over the head with your wand you're like look at how powerful I am I know what I'm doing and my success for this transportation thing is correspondent upon me showing them that they're wrong and what ends up happening is you're successful so you bop this person on the head middle east has something to do with oil or maybe transportation to some degree and then you are victorious because of your you know you're, you're taking down the bad guys you're taking them down dano you're taking down the bad guys and because you took them down and you showed them for what they are you became successful and so that's why your stick is growing. It's flourishing right there. It's budding. So that's all I really have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped out. I really didn't have to blow any dragon fire on it. Um, although, you know, if I did and I want to, I will because I, I think it's important. But, Scorpio, you're amazing. Stay amazing. Make sure that you don't let this devil guy get away with stuff because, you know, they try to. They do try to. And uh, that's all I've got to show you. Like, you've got a lot of loving people that are on your side, even myself. And, uh, you know, whether you're going to find another significant other in some degree, you know, it could be one of these. But uh, 
whether whether it is this one or this one or this one or this one, they're going to help you out, and you're going to you're going to be successful, and you're going to have the power to hold this wand out of thin air by yourself without any help, because it started with this. You it's a change, and you needed somebody else to understand. You know how to gain a success. You got that help from that powerful friend which fought the adversary and you win with the rod of justice so i will leave it there scorpio thanks so much for watching i'm going to close out here i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next reading